Hi folks, HR Funk here with a brand new kind of video and we'll see how long it takes YouTube to demonetize these. And if you're wondering why I'm making a video like this, I'll tell you at the very end because there are a lot of guys that are tuning into this to see how to make a meatloaf and they couldn't care less why I'm making it. So this is a quick, easy way to make a meatloaf and I'm starting out with an onion. If you don't like onions, you can skip this part and move ahead to where you see me actually mixing up ingredients in a bowl. But I'm going to start out with an onion because I do like onions. I'm going to cut this onion in half. And the next thing I'm going to do is take one half of it and just peel the skin off the side. I'll stop the video while I do that and then start it back up when I have a peeled onion. And as you can see, I now have a peeled onion and I'm going to dice the onion. And I got to tell you, I hate dicing things. It's just something I don't like doing. So to make this whole thing a little bit more palatable, <laughs> if a pardon the pun, I'm going to have a little bit of bourbon while I'm doing this. And by the way, having some bourbon while you're cooking makes the whole thing a more enjoyable experience. So I'm going to cut off a slice again. And now I'm just going to basically do a checkerboard cut on this thing. So I'll cut first this way. And then I will rotate the onion 90 degrees and do the same thing going this way. I know this is exciting. Try to contain all your enthusiasm out there, but you're going to be happy you watched all the way to the end. I'm going to do the same thing again with another slice. I don't have to show you that again because it's the same thing that I just did. My two slices of onion are now diced and I'm going to pour it all into a mixing bowl. Just like that. Dropped a few pieces on the counter. That's okay. I'll pick them up and throw them in as well. Now I'm going to get the actual meat for the meatloaf. And I'm going to be using ground beef, but pretty much any kind of ground meat you want to use. If you have ground venison or ground pork or ground anything, you can use to make your meatloaf. But I will be using ground beef. So I've now put two pounds of ground beef on top of my onions in the mixing bowl. And I use two pounds of beef for this particular recipe. You can cut it in half if you want to make a smaller meatloaf. You can double it if you want to make a bigger meatloaf. Just depends on how many people you want to feed. This is actually going to result in some leftovers. So we'll be able to eat it for, you know, another time. I'll just put it in a refrigerator and then warm it up in the microwave later on. I'm going to add some salt. I don't put a lot of salt and pepper on at this point. I just want some of it inside and then I can always add more later. I just can't take it out if I get too much in there. And I'm going to put a cup of breadcrumbs and I'll tell you a secret about this. You don't have to use breadcrumbs. If you have anything that's reminiscent of breadcrumbs like crackers that you can crunch up or I had some panko in the uh, cabinet behind me that I was using for a while and that actually worked pretty well. Basically anything that kind of sorta is like breadcrumbs will work for this. And I'm going to put a cup in and if I need to I can add a little bit more later or I can not if I don't need to. And the last thing you're going to need is an egg and the egg just basically once you mix this all up helps to hold everything together. So there we go one egg. Now we have to mix it all up and the way that works best for me is to just use my hands and I am going to mix all this together. Egg, breadcrumbs, ground beef, and of course onions down on the bottom. All right everything is now mixed well together. Next I need a loaf pan and I'm going to spray cooking spray inside my loaf pan. Now people will say you don't have to do that. I don't care what anybody says. I want cooking spray in my loaf pan because I don't want the meatloaf sticking to the inside of this pan while I'm trying to scoop it out. So that's all it takes. Just enough on the inside to coat all the sides and the bottom. Now I am going to take my meatloaf out of the mixing bowl and try not to drop too much of it. Form it into the actual loaf. And by the way, this is the thing with the breadcrumbs. 
if you don't have enough breadcrumbs, then it's not going to want to stick together real well. So if you get to this point and everything is falling apart and it's just not forming into a loaf, then you probably need to throw a few more breadcrumbs in and do a little more remixing. So I'm going to flatten it down now. Just more or less so it fits the inside shape of my loaf pan. And that's pretty good right there. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have preheated the oven to 425 degrees. You don't want to put the oven on a really high temperature because that will basically burn the outside of your meatloaf before it cooks all the way through. So you want a relatively low temperature and it's going to cook for a long time. That's the only bad thing about making meatloaf. It's going to be in the oven for about an hour. Now, before I put it in, there's one last thing that I'm going to do. And this is one of these things you can either do it if you want to, or you don't have to do it if you don't want to. And that is to put something on the meatloaf while it's baking. Now, some people will put ketchup, some people will put tomato sauce or whatever on top of their meatloaf. I like to use barbecue sauce and I'm going to be using this barbecue sauce as the meatloaf is baking. I'm going to put some of it on right now and spread it around. It'll bake while the meatloaf is in the oven. And then when it's done, I'll put a little bit more on just so it's moist on top. And again, I just like this stuff. So I'm going to do this quick. This is another one of those uh, extremely exciting parts of the video. And I'm just going to put some on here and spread it around. And maybe a little bit more. All right, that should be enough. And into the oven it's going to go. And there we go. I'm going to wait for an hour. The meatloaf will be done at that point. I'll pull it out, let it sit for a little while, and then it will be ready to slice up and eat. That's all there is to it. This is the simple recipe for meatloaf for guys who don't know how to cook. Okay, so why on earth am I making cooking videos? Here's the reason why. There's actually a couple of reasons. First off, since I've been retired, I've been doing a lot more cooking around the house which is only fair. Mimi is hard at work all day long making money so I can maintain my supply of bourbon and ammunition. Not necessarily in that order, but that's pretty much the, the priorities. <laughs> and I've been doing this cooking, but I don't really know how to cook and I don't particularly like to cook. So I'll go to YouTube and I look for cooking videos and it seems like there are a couple of different kind and I don't like either one of them. One of the types of videos for cooking where a recipe comes up and the video just goes on and on and on and on ad nauseum and it just takes forever to figure out how to finally cook whatever dish it is they're making and then actually be able to prepare it and make it for yourself. The other kind of video is filmed in a stop action or a, uh, a time lapse type of video where all you see is somebody's hands and it's going chuk, 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 and all of a sudden, voila, then they have this dish and there's nothing about proportions or what temperature you put the oven on or anything else. It's basically a video that's made for people who more or less know how to cook and they can look at what's going on and think, oh, okay, well, I don't know how to do that. Well, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured out how to make a few easy things that come out well enough that I like them. And I am not into the joy of cooking. I'm into the joy of eating. So <laughs> I want things that are going to be easy, things that are going to be quick, and things that Mimi, when she gets home, are go is going to enjoy eating also. So these are recipes for guys who don't know how to cook. I hope you enjoy it. And that's the reason I'm making these videos. So until next time, good cooking. Bye-bye.